would you say, um, since this is your first time using Team Hired in your recruiting efforts um, and utilizing our accelerated process, what would you say you liked about this particular process? Well, I, I think the thing that I liked about the process is that, you know, we, we get a, a nice website with information about the candidates, um, that you do have the capability to, you know, view some of their information or part of their interview with you guys. Um, you know, so it does kind of prepare you a little bit um, about who the candidate is potentially ahead of time. Um, unfortunately, that's not completely up to date, right? And sometimes we're getting that information or we're, you know, we're, we're trying to do a quick interview with somebody. So having that show up, you know, two, three, four or five days later is really a very little value um, at the end of the day for, for somebody like myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then also not being able to get a copy of their resume, um, you know, so you know, you're you're prepping us and saying that they have such and such experience, but I'm not seeing what that experience is. Was that, you know, three days or was that, you know, five years? Um, so it'd be nice to have some documentation back up as to, you know, who they are and where they've been. And I think it, it helps to have a little bit more of an informed conversation. Um, as far as um, what you used prior to uh, starting services with us, how was your means of finding talent and, you know, recruiting for yourself? What was that experience like? Primarily it was, you know, either word of mouth or I was doing, you know, internet recruiting with, you know, some of the different websites, um, Indeed and such, um, you know, just getting um, <clears throat> resumes sent to me. Um, that was... The, this is the first time that I've engaged with what I would consider more of a recruiting agency um, that's, you know, going out and, and trying to find some talent out there. Um, and then, you know, there's pros and cons to it, right? I mean, you know, are we getting the specific types of, of candidates that we're looking for, um, you know, and, and are they kind of fitting the bill? Well, there were some good candidates or, you know, I've seen some good candidates or some with, you know, some decent backgrounds, um, obviously some challenges with those people to try to make them fit for my opportunity. Okay, love that. And um, as far as results been, since again, you know, you've seen one side kind of doing it by yourself, now using a recruiting agency, what would have your results been, you know, between the two? Um. I think it's mixed on both sides. I mean, I think that there's some definite challenges, um, you know, on the other side. However, you know, going out and, you know, posting a job, um, looking for a specific type of individual and then getting responses for people that kind of fit what you're looking for um as opposed to this where it's a mixed bag right i mean we're just going through a couple of scenarios right um you know karen for instance no sales background um you know more seasoned in her um and her experience and you know is she really wanting a sales opportunity right um you know is that is that a, um, a focused candidate on what i'm looking for I don't know, is there a possibility that that may be a fit? Possibly, but I would say the possibility is maybe 10% um, as opposed to, you know, going out and posting a specific job and getting, you know, a spe specific type of uh, candidate with a desired background. I think you're, you know, you've got a better opportunity in that world. And then um, if you have a colleague, you know, another a fellow insurance agent that asks you, hey, how was your experience with Team Hired? Uh, and would you recommend me use them? What would you tell them? I would say, yeah, it's, it's worth a shot. It's not exceptionally expensive. Um, however, you know, a, a couple of the, the things that I talked about, right? Um, you know, waiting days for, you know, updated information on candidates to show on, on the um, Hired 365 side, that's detrimental. Um, you know, the kind of the approach of, hey, you know, we're going to get you 10 candidates. My, my assumption was, 
you know, you were going to go out and post the job um, and looking for specific types of people for this type of, of opportunity. And then, you know, I get the, the website, you know, post to me and say, hey, here's a bunch of candidates. Well, you know, some of them go back six months. Well, those weren't actually candidates for my opportunity. Those were just people that you happen to have in a database. Um, you know, could those people potentially have fit? Maybe. But, you know, that's not that's not going out and, and posting for a particular opportunity and getting people that are responding to that opportunity and saying this is what we want to do. So I think that there's some pros and cons. Like I said, I mean, I can I can say that there were, you know, of the of the candidates that I have, there were, you know, three that were fairly um, fairly impressive. You know, Jeff Bergeson, you know, I would have really liked to you know, got him in front of me. You know, we had the initial conversation. Um, we had scheduled a follow up and then he decided that, you know, he wanted to stay in, in auto sales. You know, I can't change that. He was obviously looking for something. Um, you know, maybe my opportunity wasn't the right opportunity, but was he a good candidate? He, yeah, I think that he would have been a really good candidate. Um, and I think he could have fit the bill very well, right? Shanika, I, I, I go back to her again, you know, I would not have loved nothing more than to hire her. Um, unfortunately, you know, the work from home doesn't work. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, in my particular situation, you know, she's got a six year old son at home that she's pretty responsible for and she's running another business. So, you know, in my startup scenario, to not have somebody that's really available to come in the office and then also 100% focused on what I'm doing um, doesn't necessarily help me, right? You know, she may be somebody once I'm established that I could th throw out there and say, hey, you know, you're dynamic, right? You're a dynamic individual. Um, you wanna do this on a 1099 basis? Um, you know, I, I'm, up to speed on all of my technology and those types of things. I don't have to make a financial commitment to you. You know, you just go out and sell business. And if you sell, you're going to get paid. Um, you know, that that would be great. And then, you know, the last one was Kelly. Again, you know, I, I love her. I love her personality. And I think that, you know, she definitely comes with, you know, a sales background and some sales experience. Um, you know, it just happened to be a distant situation and the fact that she's responsible for seven kids, um, you know, that it's just the distance and, and that, that responsibility is overtaking whether she's a viable candidate for what I'm looking for. I just want to know as far as your experience working with me as your dedicated account manager, um, what would you say your experience has been like partnering with me? I'd say it's a positive experience. I mean, you know, obviously there's a there's a learning curve from my perspective, right? How does this process work? How do, how do we work together? You know, how do we get those types of things in place? Um, how, how does that mesh? Um, I think that, you know, coming in, there's some barriers there that I just don't understand how the process works and what the expectations are. I think, you know, and again, not having worked with a similar type of an organization and have a lot of opportunity to do that previously. So I think, you know, on a go forward basis, I'd have a little bit more understanding of what the process would be and what the expectation should be. Okay, love that. Thank you. And then um, as far as from that beginning, kind of um, to your point, preparing you for services, did you feel uh, with my help coming into this that you felt prepared um, kind of what to do, what to expect? I would say fairly prepared. I wouldn't say that I was fully prepared. Um, part of that just not me necessarily understanding your processes and, you know, how those processes are going to work um and what exactly to expect i mean i think anytime that you walk into a brand new situation you know you could tell me everything in the world but until i actually see it feel it and touch it um you know i'm not necessarily going to know how that process is going to work and how to work in that environment similar question as before um if a colleague asks you hey you know how was your experience with team hire you kind of tell them what you said and they ask hey i also saw you worked with emily uh would you recommend that i ask for her what would you say 
Yeah, I mean, I would say that they're positive experiences. I would just set expectations, right? Mm -hmm. and this is what, you know, this is how the process works. And this is what, you know, you should expect, um, you know, take it for what it is and then make a determination whether you want to invest your dollars that way or not.